Hi guys, just a short video today. Dealing with these uh, three speed rally, you know, old English bottom brackets, they're sometimes, in fact a lot of the time, a pain. Um, and that's just basically down to these shallow flats that um, they have, both, both sides. Uh, Non-drive side isn't normally an issue because it's the adjustable side. The fixed drive side is normally the problem. So first I'll whip out the non-drive side and then show you a little trick which should stop you mangling the tools and save you a lot of frustration. The non-drive side should be fairly simple. We're just going to get this lock ring off first. And yeah, nine times out of ten the uh, cup actually comes out with it, that it's all fixed together and I suppose I'm just lucky that this one is loose but you want to take all this out, take the adjustable side out take the axle out, take all the bearings out this is actually really right, nicely greased up so I'm going to reach in there, take all the bearings out as well there we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that should be all of them. Now this side is normally the problematic side, so first idea is just to clean everything up. Just make sure those flats are as clean as possible. Try and remove any grease from them, any dirt. There we go, so they've got nice, clean faces to grip onto. Second, you might want to give it a little squirt. Hopefully this trick, if you will, won't need this, but here's a little penetration spray. Third, you're going to need your park tool or similar HCW11, just so that will go on there. There is still a little bit of wiggle room, but if I just try and undo this now by obviously turning it clockwise, the likelihood is the amount of pressure I have to put on that, I'm going to slip off and damage my tool, which I've done before and uh, ruin the tool. So now what I like to do is take my headset setting tool pop that inside so I've got a piece of threaded rod with a nut on that side, two washers and another nut. That is my headset setting tool, I think that's an M16 rod. I'm going to want to put the tool over there, put the washers over the top to clamp the tool down. and fix everything down so that shouldn't now slip off and whatever I do turning this is just going to turn this rod the same and so because they're usually quite tight hammer there we go Easy. Tool hasn't slipped, it's done its job, and I'm able to unwind everything just like that. And everything's come out as one. And that doesn't damage the cups, doesn't damage the tool. It's a nice simple method to remove those difficult drive side cups. So, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, let me know any other tricks and stuff that you've got with dealing with bottom brackets. But I always find if you can bolt the tool to it, it's not going to slip and you're going to be able to do that job 10 times easier.